Hi Taurus, it's a reading for the sign of Taurus. My beautiful friends, welcome to the space. It's wonderful to have you here and I'm excited to be here as well. I'm going to be using my freestyle type of reading, so um, let's go ahead and just get right into it and see what this situation is around you, Taurus, for the next week or two. But the situation is around you for the next week or two here. We're going to be um, digging deeper if we need to. All right, so what we have is the Ace of Wands, the Six of Pentacles, the Nine of Swords, the Three of Cups, the Nine of Cups, the Knight of Swords, and the Six of Wands. So there are some pretty big energies here for you in the next week or two, Taurus. Um, it looks like um, you, you've started something new with the Ace of Wands, something new, something creative, something that you're that you have a lot of energy for, that you have a lot of passion for. Could be a new job, could be a new relationship. Um, whatever it is, it's something that fires you up. It's something that you're excited about and you can kind of get going into the swing of things. You could be learning something new, um, st doing something new because the Ace of Wands is new action, new passion, new energy for something, new creativity. Um, so, so you're springing forward now into something new. Um, it's something that it is connecting you in with the energy of equality. It's something that you feel is going to be fair for you. Um, something that um, is going to bring you enough, enough something, whatever it is. If, if this is something that you're doing for money, it's going to bring you enough money. If this is something you're doing um, within love or sensuality, um, there's going to be a fair exchange and that you feel like it's it feels right to you. Um, it's, it's a good energy. It's a good foundational energy that you're in at this point in time, Taurus. You could be starting this now or, or starting it very soon. There is an energy here though of, I feel like in the middle of this, there's another situation that's going on here that's separate. And I kind of felt it when I first put the cards down that there's something going on here with you. But this group of, of Taurus people, um, it's like, it's like there's a situation that's out in your real world, um, with a job or with, with a relationship or, or something here that's, that's really settling in for you. It's really feeling good. It's feeling, um, like it's going to be a good situation for you and, and you feel good about it. Like it's a good feeling and you're, and you're taking action. You're at work. That said, there's some sort of a relationship in the background, um, a relationship with, with parents perhaps, or with siblings or with friends, um, with, with people that you generally have a, a tight bond with that you're worried about. There's some sort of worry here about your people, right? Those people, your tribesmen, your people, your clan, um, your, your family, what, whatever it is, there's worry here and anxiety uh, about um, coming together right? Coming together, celebrating this, right? Um, feeling that bond, feeling that connection. Uh, there is some anxiety here about that. So we'll go deeper into that scenario. I think that scenario is, is separate from this other, um, this other action that's going on in your life that you feel relatively good about, right? There's something going on here, Taurus, that you feel good about, that you feel really good about. It's like a dream come true for you in a way. Because we do have the Nine of Cups here with the Knight of Swords and the Six of Wands. Like you're moving forward in the next couple of weeks. You're moving forward with something, whether it's a hobby, something new that you're doing, a relationship that, you, that you're in, you're moving forward. And it feels good. It's something that is, is some, it's something that really you've been thinking about for a long time, or it's something that really, um, it, it checks a lot of your happiness boxes, right? Your emotional fulfillment boxes. Um, it, it's something that has, is, how do I explain this feeling? You know, Taurus, it's really hard in a way to, to go into a, into a, um, a, a situation or into an experience that is a good experience 
that that you feel a lot of um, promise for that you feel is going to be fair and equal for you and it really ticks off a whole bunch of your boxes and it's really a, a dream come true when there are people around you who perhaps aren't understanding or perhaps they're in a in a different situation perhaps you're far away from them perhaps it's really hard to celebrate this um, perhaps they're not understanding what you're doing and then that's, that can make it really hard. It can take some of the joy out of it. Uh, I think this, that what's happening to you, um, Taurus, what's happening to you, Taurus, is something that is really a wish come true for you in some way, shape or form. That's what the nine of cups is. It's enjoyment of life. It's enjoyment of your life experience where you're feeling happiness and joy. And you're very much willing to move forward, right? You're very much willing to move forward because it feels so good. And, and that's where you are in the next week or two. Now, I do see that there's something here that you're communicating with the Knight of Swords. There's something here that you're communicating. We'll go deeper into that and see what that is. Um, you're, you're not holding back as you move forward. Whatever it is that you're doing, you're stepping out into the limelight. If you see the Six of Wands energy, I mean, this, this person is stepping out onto the stage and the lights are shining down on her. So this is, this is something that people are seeing you do. And this is something that you're doing, um, probably in, 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 uh, probably in a capacity that you haven't done it before with the six of wands. And you could really be using a lot of your courage, a lot of your might, a lot of your strength to do this. It could be taking a lot of energy for you to do this. You might look confident to other people. You might dress well. You might be able to speak in a passionate way or lead others in a, in a strong and, and, um, and, and compassionate way. But deep down, I mean, this is taking skills that you have, haven't maybe used before, or this is really, um, taking, taking up quite a bit of your energy with the courage that you're, you're stepping into. And the bravery you have as you do this, because you're not entirely sure that you can do this. That's what the Six of Wands is. It's like stepping through the fear of failure to step out and do something totally new. And you're doing it in public, so there's no going back. Well, there is going back. You can always go back, and you can always go to the side. But if you do that, you know that people are going to see that you're doing that. That's There's a very public energy with the Six of Wands. It's not like you're trying something secretive. It's not, it's not like I am in my, at my tarot table and I'm working on tarot and nobody really knows in my community until I have a channel that's big enough for people to find out, right? This is something that once you're doing it, people know. And if you're going to change it, then people are going to know. And if you're going to fail, then people are going to know. It's a big energy, Six of Wands. It's very positive too, because you override all these worries with the passion you have for what you're doing. It's a beautiful, it's one of the most beautiful energies in tarot. I think it's one of the most beautiful energies of life. And look what you're doing, Taurus. You're stepping into that energy. And there's something here that you're saying very strongly, very directly to someone. It's clear too. I mean, you're not mincing words. You're not beating around the bush, right? You're not being vague. You're saying directly what you mean and how you feel in some sh way, shape, or form. You could be writing something that's a dream come true. You could be working in a marketing position that's a dream come true. Because remember, the Knight of Swords is a communication energy. It's an expression energy, and it's moving forward. So whatever that is for you, if it's um, working on a script, right? If it's um, producing a movie, if it's writing a song, if it's penning a note, if it's sending a text message, whatever it is, there's a strong energy of communication here and it lacks the frills and um, the subtleties and the softness that you might normally speak in. It's very strong, very straightforward, very passionate. It has an energy of urgency to it. And I feel like whatever you're communicating, it has to do with um, what you're doing now. 
whether if whether if you're um, moving into a, a new relationship and you're saying, you know what, let's go to the fount. Well, we can't do that now. It's hard to do tarot readings when everything in the world has changed, right? We can't just let it come out. But whatever this is, I'm going to keep moving. I'm going to keep saying it. I'm going to go back. Okay, let me let me go back to where I was. Um, it's, it's almost like saying, you know what? Come hang out with my friends. Like, we're all going out for drinks. I want you to meet them. I want you to meet them. Let's go to drinks. Uh, I think you'd really like them. I would love for you to be there. Let's do this, right? That kind of an energy. Um, if you're if you're starting a new company, you're you're going over to your... This is so hard because we're... When, when you have the Six of Wands, you're with people, right? Maybe you're online. Maybe you're starting a new channel. Maybe you're doing something on Instagram, TikTok, or whatever. Whatever these software programs are. But whatever you're doing, like, you're, you're in the public's eye. And there's a seriousness to that. There, there is a seriousness to that. But you're passionate about it. And um, you're moving forward nonetheless, no matter what is happening in the world around you, no matter what is happening in the world around you. Now, this energy that I'm in, this this energy, um, Taurus, is very thick. Um, as I get into this energy, it's hard for me somehow to think. So you could be you could be feeling like the 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 it's hard to move forward, even though this is a a dream come true and this is something that you've wanted for a long time, and it's something that's going to bring in some real equality and balance for you. It could be that the that it's hard to get up in the morning. It's hard to step out the door. It's hard to turn the camera on. It's hard to pick up the pen. Something here is like a it's like a thicker energy. Um, it's a thicker energy, but I think you're going to work your way out of that. Um, I really do think you're going to work your way out of that here because this is these are very strong energies. Um, maybe in the next. Um, three or four days, I think that energy around you is going to become lighter and you're going to be able to step forward in a, in a much more easy way. It's going to, everything's really going to begin to flow for you. Because when I do this reading, um, I, I feel like, um, the, the, the masculine energy that's here where there is a lot of masculine energy here, this is action forward. These two energies are, are more action oriented energies. Um, you could be needing to energize your um, your young energy. You could be needing to energize your masculine energy um, by eating fruits and vegetables and um, protein, um, being out in the sun. Uh, make sure that you're getting rest at night so that you have energy. You're eating good, strong food um, so that you have energy to move forward. Because I think that you could be feeling at this point in time when, I mean, your energy is somewhat sluggish. So the energies that are here are all fast forward, very positive energies. And when I'm in this energy, it's very sluggish. So those of you that are listening now and are meant to listen at whenever you listen to it, you could be feeling somewhat sluggish um, uh, uh, about these energies that are that are coming towards you, I think that is going to break here in the next three or four days and you're going to be feeling differently because there's a lot really happening here for you and it's very positive and very exciting. Now let's go ahead and dig down deeper into some of these energies. <sighs> there's a lot happening here. So let's let's look at this Ace of Wands and see what we can get out of the Ace of Wands. More information about the Ace of Wands. More information about the Ace of Wands. Nine of Wands. Death. So there's something here that you're doing that you're not absolutely sure sure about. It's like you're waiting to make a judgment. You're waiting to make a final decision. Um, you could be feeling somewhat cynical about it, or you could be feeling like you'll you'll do it, but you know, you're going to stay a little bit hesitant. You're going to stay a little bit, um, you're going to be questioning it. You could be a little defensive about it. Um, this could be something that you tried before or that you um, were involved in before and it didn't turn out well. And now maybe it's, it's completely different. And you're like, well, I mean, it is something that it's going to 
make things better for me that's going to balance because before the six is a five of pentacles which is very uncomfortable energy um and there has been some sort of whatever this whatever you were going through before taurus you could still be healing from it because i just feel like the like the masculine energy that's here and even if you're a woman you have masculine energy in you you have the go get it type of energy in within you and something about that has been kind of damaged, I feel. Like, I'm just feeling like it's almost like you need a lot of sleep. You could be needing some sleep. You could be kind of forcing your, your way ahead, knowing that this is, is um, something here. Because this could be something entirely different. So this is why we clarify sometimes. So uh, this is something that you're doing and you feel excited about, but... Even though you're excited about it and you have the energy for it, you know it's bringing you balance. Uh, the feminine side of you is saying, ah, I'm not so sure about this. I'm not so sure it's going to be different this time. I'm not so sure that this new experience is, is right for me because I'm really here, have learned so much from my past. You know, you're questioning, you're questioning this. Why are you questioning this? Why are you questioning this? Something that you're protecting here. Could be a, uh, a Aquarius, Libra, Gemini here. Um, some, something that you're protecting. You could be in self-protection. Could be a group of people that you're protecting. You're thinking about things that maybe the other person or the situation hasn't thought of. That's what the Queen of Swords does sometimes. She thinks, she knows, like she's been, she's been in battle. She knows the nitty gritty of hardship, right? She knows that you can't just gloss over things and say, oh yeah, it'll be fine. Um, come back to work. Um, we'll pay you this much. It'll be fine. Uh, we have it all figured out. It'll be fine. Don't worry. Um, or yes, let's, let's, let's get together. I really miss you. Don't worry. I've changed all my behaviors. I'm better now. I've realized what I've done or, or something. And the queen of swords is like, wait a second. What about this? What about this? What about that over there? You haven't talked about that. And we need to really talk about that because I'm not doing that again. Right. So she takes this overall glossiness and she, and she opens up the pages and she looks at the fine print of the pages and she says, read that. Tell me what that means. Tell me what you mean by this. That's right, because I don't want to sign this if this fine print is going to send me back into a battlefield. Queen of Swords. This is so interesting. That's always so interesting because what's on the book cover is not always what's inside the book, is it? Life is just not that easy, unfortunately, Taurus. And that's frustrating too. But look what's going on over here. Something quite beautiful. Page of Pentacles. I mean, there, there is something here that's indicating success. Indicating success. I mean, it's not the Ace of Pentacles and it's not the Knight of Pentacles. It's just a page. It's some the kind of indication. Page of Swords. Yeah, like you're, for some reason, with this... <laughs> thing that you've got going on here as we dig in deeper for some of you anyway um you're not too sure about this situation you're you're in a you're scoping it out um you're raising an eyebrow you're peeking at it You've got your binoculars in your hand, right? You're, you're, you're not too sure about this. Whatever this is, you're not too sure. Um, let's, let's continue on with this. I want to ask, like, what does the Queen of Swords have to say? What does the Queen of Swords have to say? What does the Queen of Swords have to say? The Tower. Justice, Four of Cups, Nine of 
look how much she's talking. Like the Queen of Swords can really talk. This energy, and here's the Wheel of Fortune and the and the Eight of Swords. So this energy, I think this is the energy that I'm feeling that's kind of rough. It's slow moving. It's hard to think. I just want to, I feel like I just want to go to sleep. I feel tired. I feel like I've been reading tarot all day, and this is the first reading I've been I've done today. So I should be really fresh. My mind should be really alive. But when I'm in this energy, I feel like I am bound. I feel like I'm tired. I feel like, oh my goodness, I just want to cuddle up on my recliner with a blanket and a cup of hot chocolate and watch some videos. I don't really want to do this. Even though it's something new, it's something creative, it's something... Let's do this as something that's going to bring equality and balance and, and enough for you. This Queen of Swords has a lot to say. First of all, there's a tower here. There's something here that happened or that she's not wanting to happen or that she's referring to. There's something here with this tower energy. Something that came in and tore her life apart or ripped it to shreds or created some kind of crisis in her life. And the Queen of Swords has been through so many crises. She is saying, like, this is not what she wants anymore in her life. This is not what she wants anymore. She's been down that road. She's tired of this kind of energy. She doesn't want it anymore. She doesn't want the foundations to crack. A lot of freaking people get hurt when the foundations crack. When I'm in her energy, she's fierce. Taurus, there's some of you here that are fierce in this, in this next week or about this situation. All right, there, there is justice here with the Four of Cups looking at justice. Like, is this the answer that's fair? Is this the answer that's fair for me? Is this the situation that's fair for me? I don't know. I don't know if it's fair for me. I don't know. Because what I've been through already, mm, I'm not too confident. I'm not too confident of the situation. Look how she's looking at the justice energy. Maybe somebody has made a decision that they think is great, but you're like, uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know about this. It's not like you're saying no. I think you're just saying, I I'm going to wait and see. I'm not going to sign anything. I'm not going to agree to anything. Let's come up with a short-term plan because I need to see how this is going to work out. Here we have the Wheel of Fortune and the Eight of Swords. So, there, and, and this is kind of what I'm feeling. It's like there is something here that's moving forward. And maybe it's something good. Maybe it's something that you've wanted. Maybe it's something you said when you were in this tower. You said the words, I want it to be like this. I want it to be like this. Why can't it be like this? I demand it to be like this. Right? As the tower, as the tower came collapsing down. And at some point, the situation now is like that, what you said. And you're looking at this situation and you're saying, uh, I don't know now. I don't know now. I, whatever this is, I think you've lost confidence in it. That's what we do when we go through towers. Our lives change. Our perspectives change. Our understandings change. We move forward. No matter how hard it is, we're always moving forward in our understanding. Yes, we might have been moved backwards, but our understanding went forward. And that's maybe why this energy is so thick. Because maybe you were sent backwards in your life. But your awareness and your enlightenment and your understanding is forward, which is creating this very thick energy around you. Look at this. This is what I mean when I say thick energy. What, what is this energy, Taurus? When we have, when we have the wheel of fortune next to the eight of swords, it's like there's movement forward, but how can you move forward when you're all tied up? I don't know if this is the best energy. Taurus, I don't know if this is the best energy. Something about this makes me very uncomfortable. Either there's another way to think about this that you're not realizing. Or there's another way to think about it, this that the other person or the other situation is not realizing. 
or this is a gift that's coming in that you're not seeing, or this is movement forward that, that is good that it's moving forward, but it's not really giving you anything to help you in any way. It's like, it's like something has happened that's supposed to be good, but it's not really helping you in some way. So I don't know what this is. This is a very weird energy, Taurus. I'm going to move forward. Um, but if you're feeling alone in this situation, if you're feeling oddly at odds with a situation, um, I guess what I'm saying to you is that th that's something to be, th that this is a confirmation of that energy, that this is something that's truly out of balance that you're feeling this way because there's a reason for you to feel this way, that you have the ability within you to feel when the, when the energy in the universe is not balanced around you, and to stay strong in that energy. Yes, it might be something that might balance things out and make things right, and yes, it might bring this to a new exciting beginning, but if it's not right for you, uh, there, there needs to be some sort of balancing still. There needs to be some sort of work done still to make this feel right for you, to make this be right for you. And if you're in the Eight of Swords, no matter if it's your fault you're in the Eight of Swords, or if it's another fault you're in the Eight of Swords, or if it's the, in the situation around you that has you in the Eight of Swords, it doesn't matter why you're in the Eight of Swords, you're in the Eight of Swords. So in order, in, unless you can untie yourself from this situation, this energy is going to stay so thick so don't be too hard on yourself for the Eight of Swords. I don't know what that is. If that's the environment around you, I've been in the Eight of Swords before, that it was my mindset. It was, was my way of thinking. But I can tell you much more in my life, much more than a mindset. When I've been in the Eight of Swords, there's been something going on in my life that is difficult. And it's not just my mindset, my friends. It's not just our mindsets. It's our reality. It's our 3D. It's our human life. So don't be so hard on yourself with the Eight of Swords. With, with the, when their environment is healthy and the people around us are healthy, do we get in the Eight of Swords? No, we don't. We're just fine. So if you're feeling attacked, if you're feeling guilty, if you're being pressured into doing something that um, you internally think is not quite right, although it looks great from the outside, this is your confirmation. This is your confirmation. Stay steady in that. Stay steady in that. Don't self self don't take it, don't, don't collapse into it. Like whatever you need to do, do, right? If this is the six of pentacles and you need something, if you need money or if you need something from the six of pentacles, move forward, but be smart. Um, don't sign anything. Don't agree to anything until you feel right about it. Okay. Until you feel right about it. All right, let's move on. Cause this is, this is a very thick, whoo, this is very thick energy. <sighs> okay. Moving on here. That's such a surprise. That's why I like digging in. There's something out of balance here. So let's go into this energy. I'm going to put this, I'm going to turn these over. Um, I need a, I need a saging now after that. All right. That was a, that was really a surprise to us. And the word and the name Leo keeps coming up. Leo, Leo, Leo. And I keep pushing it back because I don't want to say Leo. This is a Taurus reading, but the word Leo, there are some of you here that are connected in with a Leo energy. For those of you, I'm saying this because I'm, I'm hoping that that pounding of the word Leo goes away now that I said it out loud because I, I, I hate to say the wrong sign when I'm in a reading and you guys hear me say that and you'll say, well, you said this or you said that. No, the word Leo keeps coming out. So now I, hopefully it will stop now for those of you that are dealing with the Leo or somebody connected with the Leo and you're in this situation, maybe you were meant to hear that. All right, let's look into this nine of swords with the three of cups. This now that I realize this energy could very well be connected over here. We have a King of Swords, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, King of Pentacles, the Sun. What the heck? We have two people here. Could be males or females, doesn't matter. Aquarius and probably you, Taurus, King of Pentacles. Is there going to be a union? Is there going to be a connection? Is this going to recover itself? Is there going to be celebration and joy here? 
Well, you have the sun coming over the top. So there's some sort of healing. There's some sort of recovery here with, with these energies. So maybe this situation is recovering. Maybe you had to feel these dense energies, Taurus. Maybe you had to feel these dense energies and go through this situation so that you could move forward in this situation, that you could move forward in this relationship in some way. Because you have the sun, and here is a very Leo energy as well. You could have three people here. But it looks like whatever this is, it's, it's gaining empowerment, it's gaining strength, it's gaining energy. Um, what, what you are worried about as far as coming together, as far as bonding again or experiencing joy with this group of people, whether it's your family or friends or a lover or whoever it is, um, and finding that emotional fulfillment and that connectiveness between people, looks like there could be... Um, you and another person here with the King of Swords, it looks like there is there's going to be um, some kind of a major recovery here or re-energized energy um, between these two people here. All right, so let's move on. I, I let's I need to remember this King of Swords and the King of Pentacles. Maybe I'll leave. No, but I want this to come back out again if it needs to. King of Swords, King of Pentacles. Let me see if I can remember that. All right, let's look at this dream come true here. So let's look at this dream come true, this wish coming true, two of swords. So there's now an option as you move forward. There's some sort of a decision to make, an option. Could be a, a change in jobs, a change in hobbies, a change in, in the way you're doing things. Doesn't have to be such a big thing because we're looking at short-term energies here. Uh, but but there's a change here that you're deliberating on how to do it, what to do. It's an action. So this is not, should I think about it this way or should I think about it that way? What's the truth? It's not really about the truth. It's about what do I do? How should I do it? But something here is coming in for you that really is... Um, lifting your soul, lifting your, your, lifting you up, lifting your soul. It's very uplifting and inspiring. Knight of Pentacles. I mean, whatever it is, it's, it's something that's for real. It's something that you can count on. It could be something that's moving quite slowly with the Knight of Pentacles. It could be you. Um, but, but I think that whatever this is, that there is an opportunity that comes forward to you that is something quite stable and something that you know has a lot of propensity for success. It has, it has a likelihood for success here. Even though it moves slowly, when it does move, it's something that's significant. It's not moving and then you're like, oh, that was just, that was just a big whirlwind. And now look, I'm back where I used to be. And what, 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 what was that? No, it's not that kind of energy. It's a slow moving, steady energy. But when it moves, it's something that will really change your life. Queen of Wands, there you are. Two of Cups. So this could be with a partner. You could be finding another partner here. You have two twos energies. Now the energy around you, when you connect into this, the energy around you is still somewhat thick. So I still feel the thickness. I, you could have some stress around this. This could be somewhat stressing you out. Um, it seems like Taurus, even though, even though there are some really beautiful things happening here, I think what it feels like and what I heard just coming through is self care. You might really need some self care to rest, to eat good food, to, to, um, Go visit someone that means a lot to you, to connect in with your people, um, to find time to really rest your body and rest your mind because the energy still feels somewhat thick around you. Um, nevertheless, there is something here that's quite beautiful. It's something that really um, would bring you to a place of natural talents. It's something that really um, you can use your natural abilities in. 
It's something that will inspire people. It's something that will really help you shine. And there is some sort of some kind of a partner here with the two of cups. Leo, this period of time could be just as confusing for you as it is for me. Um, you could have walked away from this situation before. Or you could have said no to this situation before. Could be a Virgo here. You could be walking away from one situation and moving right into another, into a situation that's quite beautiful, quite exciting, where you feel very much yourself and very alive, very strong. It's slow moving though. You could have been waiting for it for a while or wanting it for a long time. And perhaps it's, it's finally here, but it does have this partner energy here. That's so interesting. I think you've learned some kind of major, and now the energy is changing. Taurus, now the energy begins to change. All right, that heaviness is falling away from me. My mind is able to really move um, in, in a much easier way, Taurus. So there's something here you could be walking away from because we have the Eight of Cups here with the Hermit energy and connecting in with some kind of a new partnership here. Um, this partnership has a heart connection. So whether it's a job or another relationship, another friendship, a business that you're starting, um, a, a, um, a, a partnership, maybe you're partnering with another company to make, to make a product or you're combining your services or something it doesn't have to be love, but it's something that you, that you both, um, both of these energies will, feel connected emotionally about it. And there's some kind of a partnership here. Um, so you could be leaving one situation and moving to another. Um, this is a good situation. What's on the other side of this two of wands? What's on the other side? What's on the other side? Queen of Pentacles. The other situation is all about details, about money, about hard work. And there's sorrow here as well. Now, the problem with this scenario on this side, because this is what we're going into, is the two of wands. This is what happens. This is what I do a lot of times in the extended. Um, those of you who um, know the extended, I'll, sometimes I'll go into the two of wands and we'll do two scenarios. The problem with this side is you're going to have to leave something, and leaving something can be hard. Um, it's something that you put a lot of uh, focus and attention and an emotional connection to. This is moving forward slowly, so um, it's it's... But it is your natural way, though, Taurus. It's your natural way. There seems to be a little bit of risk. There seems to be a little bit of risk with this option. But you know what? There's a little bit of freaking sadness with this option, right? There's a little bit of sadness here with this option. So I think um, there's pros and cons each way. Now the energy is shifting. So, so that's good. So as we get to the, towards the end of this, the energy shifts here. Now you're in this Knight of Swords energy. So let's see what this Knight of Swords has to say. So it could be Taurus that you're, you're stepping into something new. Absolutely stepping into something new. Knight of Swords. Two of Swords. Queen of Wands. There you are again. And here he is the Six of Wands. Lovers, fool. So whatever you're saying, um, you're you're figuring out, you're finding clarity in this situation, and you're deciding on what you want to do. And the Two of Swords is kind of a hard energy because it, there's usually a loser with the Two of Swords. There's usually some sort. Remember, it's swords, so. You're going to pick one of the swords, right? You're going to pick your ace and you're going to move forward. That other sword is going to, is going to cut, you know, that other sword has to be put somewhere. It, it, it's, there, it feels like that, that, that something is being sacrificed or someone will get hurt or something will happen 
um, that's going to feel a little bit uncomfortable. That said, we have the Queen of Wands here. We know the Queen of Wands is such a powerful energy. She knows who she is. She knows what her natural talents are. Um, she knows how to speak. She knows how to inspire. She knows how to be her full self in her total honesty. She knows how to do these things. It does look like there's a partner here with the lover's energy. Could be Gemini, but the, there is some sort of a very intense partnership that's coming in here for you. Could be a love situation. Could be a work situation. Both of you are the opposite energies, but when you come together, it's a powerful force. That's what the lover's energy is. It creates a balance, which helps bring success. And then you have the fool energy, which is doing something different, doing something new. Now, there can be a nervousness with the fool energy. Um, there can be a little bit of a wobbliness, but look how the fool energy is on top of the six of wands. So, you know, I mean, I think you're going for this. Whatever this is, I think you're going for this. Really quickly here, um, let's go into the six of wands and see what we can get. And then I'll figure out what I'm going to do in the extended. High Priestess, Four of Pentacles. Three of Pentacles. So there's something here you're working on. Something that you don't want to let go. You know, you know intuitively that this is something that's meant for you. Um, it's something that you have this very strong gut feeling for. Um, you don't want to let go of this. You want to protect this. You want to experience this. And it's something that... Um, that you're moving forward with. There's an industrious, there's an excitement, the, that there's a realness to this situation that with the Three of Pentacles, it's a really positive energy. It's an energy of, of industriousness, right? Getting busy, getting into it, learning about it, moving forward in it, knowing that it has a lot of potential to bring really real true success. Um, it's something that's happening in your reality. It's something that's happening in your real life. So it's a beautiful way to end this reading. Now, as I go into the extended Taurus, I am going to, and I don't feel the Leo so strongly anymore either. Um, I am going to take this out until into um, early June. I feel like June, early June is a very strong period of time for so many signs, and I'm not quite sure why. I've said it before in other readings, and, and some of you have some interesting ideas. If you have an idea why, whether it's of planets or whether it's certain energies or something that's going to happen or something, I just feel like early June is a, is a big opening period of time. Um, so we're going to take this out into early June. We're going to see who the people are. We're going to see what they have to say. We're going to dig deeper. We're going to see where this takes us, and that, that's what I'm going to do. I don't have necessarily anything. This, this is just taking off. And I, I want to take it just a little bit farther down the road and see what's here so that you can get an idea of, of where possibly this might go. But just remember, this is still a general reading as well. All right, Taurus, thank you very much for being here. This was an interesting read, um, and I hope that you were able to move through it with me. I wonder if you felt that thick energy or if you are feeling it. Let me know in the comments if you feel that, um, because it's so interesting that I feel it. Um, I think I'm going to take a break before I do the extended and kind of come back to the extended with a fresh mind now. And um, I'll see you guys back in another week or so with another update for Taurus. Thank you very much, my friends. It's always a pleasure. Thank you.